Hi, I'm Bruce Salazar and we are here in Master Electrician Review Notes. We are here to review basic electrical principles and electrical code that are commonly asked in board exam and some electrical calculation. If you are interested to always get updated, watch my YouTube videos and subscribe and hit the bell to get the notification for updated posts or you can like us on Facebook also. To maximize the use of technology available to us, this Master Electrician's online review is associated with the use of a Moodle app. The Moodle app will assist you in your licensure examination review goal. There are thousands of objective type questions with answers which will automatically quiz you to build your stack knowledge. You can take exam many times and monitor your performance. For example, 100 test exams a day is a good start. Only paid online reviewer can access the site. However, you can watch this video and learn from this review notes. Okay, let's proceed. So in this review notes, we will discuss some problems related to series circuit and the formula wheel that is commonly used. It is part 2. As I told you before, this formula wheel is useful. We will apply other formulas to the succeeding problem. Here is our problem for this review note. How much current is produced by a 60 volt source connected across a 12 kilo ohms resistance? The problem looks simple, right? Because it's a series circuit and simple ohms law application is needed. We have a given, a voltage source of 60 volts and 12 kilo ohms load, asking for the total current flowing in milliamperes. Solution, I is equal to B over R, that is 60 over 12,000 ohms equals 0.005 ampere. Or using our metric prefix, moving a decimal to the right by 3 spaces, we have 5 milliampere. The answer is letter D. 5 milliampere. Our second problem reads like this. A cell whose electromotive force is 1.45 volt has an internal resistance of 4 ohms. What current will flow if the cell is connected across a 1 ohm resistor? What was given is the voltage of the cell which is 1.45 volts with internal resistance of 4 ohms and a load of 1 ohm connected across the battery cell. What was asked is the flow of current across the 1 ohm resistor. Using Ohm's law, the current flowing in the 1 ohm resistor is equal to the total current of the circuit. Therefore, total current I equals B over R that is 1.45 volts divided by the total resistance which is equal to 4 ohms internal resistance plus 1 ohm load. The answer is 0 0.29 amperes. We don't have 0 0.29 amperes from the choices, but we have 0 0.3 amperes. So our correct answer is letter D, 0 0.3 amperes, by the rule of rounding off numbers. Our third problem involves a series of batteries with internal resistances connected to a 6 ohms light bulb and it read like this. Four batteries of 1.5 volts with an internal resistance of 0 0.01 ohms, respectively, each are connected in series to power up a flashlight with 6 ohm light bulb. What is the total current of the circuit? As you can see, the problem looks like what was presented in the circuit in your screen. Four batteries connected in series, the total voltage is additive, so it is equivalent to 6 volts. The internal resistance are also in series, that is 0.01 times 4 equals 0 0.04 ohms. Since this is series, Ohm's law formula will be used. The solution is to find the total current, which is equals to B over R. Since we already know that the series batteries are additive, we can say it's 6 volt and the total internal resistance of the four batteries is 0 0.04 ohms plus 6 ohms light bulb and that is 6.04 ohms. Therefore, our total current I is equal to 0 0.99 amperes. Based on our problem, the correct answer is letter C, 0 0.99. This time, it was not 
rounded off. You learned so much today. Why not take some problems in our Moodle review app? In our online review for RME, you need to take as many problems as possible to pass the board exam for RME. At least 100 questions per day is the minimum. And it is a good start. Okay, see you in the next review notes. For now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electricians Review. FractalKnowledge.com offered online review app, the mobile app, which will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stack knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. Please contact the following person and message them for more information. Good luck! and see you in your review. Next is my disclaimer on contents and disclaimer on images used. Contents are properly references if it came from books and images are copyrighted by their owners for proper use. The reference came from public search engine using a specific keyword and was properly referenced to credit them. Then, please read the details.